Hey, what's up, folks? This is uh, your boy Jeff back in with another video. And today, you know, I just wanted to talk about the PS Remote Play for the PS4. Now, there's a little feature that used to work. Wow. Even the Switch came out, taking it back a little bit. The great thing about the Switch is that you could take your games anywhere physically, which is even better, and plug it into your TV and, you know, just have that game console where you could just play from home and play away. Now, there was a feature that PS4 has and has had it in for basically a good five years because this feature was available for the PS Vita, which is the little console, and it goes back as... As far as the PS3, that's when it started coming out. The PS3 has been out for over four years. So this feature has been available at least on the Vita for over five years. Now it's also available on your PC. Meaning, if you have your game console on on standby or whatnot, and you're playing your game, you leave home, per se, if you have your Vita, you connect through your PS4, through the network on your Vita game console, which I'll show you later on, or... You could download the PS Remote Play, PS4 Remote Play on your PC or on your Mac computer. So if you take your laptops, you can basically download that app, boom, turn it on. It'll access your full screen on the PS4 at 720p. On the PS4 Pro, you could do 1080p, which is even better. But 720 is good if you're playing on a small computer or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, uh... A laptop or whatnot, and you use your own controller. You have an extra controller. You just take your controller with you, per se. You leave your remote or your PS4 on standby. Take a trip to Florida. You live in New York. You want to play your game. You turn on your Vita or your computer. You access your PS4, and you continue playing your game. Can't beat that. Not only that. Like I said, you could use it on a Vita, which is the console. You could use it on your PC, or you could use it on a Mac. Can't beat that. And it works great. I'm going to show you guys. It works very good. One thing I do recommend is that when you do plug in your PS4, you have the older version, or even the newer version, it always works better having it connected through the Ethernet than Wi-Fi. Because the Wi-Fi on the PS4 is not, you know, it's not a great... Uh, Wi-Fi card is uh, wireless N. We all up to like what a wireless A and C. Uh, the PS4 is a little better. The PS4 Pro is better wirelessly, but I still recommend to have that hard connection to the Ethernet so you can get that full spectrum of speed. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, without further ado, let me show you guys. So right now I'm playing my baseball game, which unfortunately they don't produce the game for the Vita no more. I guess PlayStation is basically doing any games for the Vita. But you can use the as a remote controller for your game, or you could do remote play. And even if you're away from your house, once you leave it on your house on or on standby, you can turn it on and play your games. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So as you guys can see right now, I'm playing my PS4 on my Vita remote play. So basically, this, this is straight live from my PS4. In my house, I'm playing in another apartment here now. They're pitching to me. You know, it's me. It's the movement. Here goes the pitch. I think a little late. But look at this. It's hardly no latency. I mean, your PS4 has to be connected through the landline. I mean, it's hard to do it when it's connected wireless. But look how beautiful it works. There goes, he goes pitching to me. There goes a pitch. I hit it. I get a base hit. Beautiful, man. The gameplay is awesome on this, you know. You could pause it, replay, do the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? And even pause it. Now, as we pause it, I'm going to show you something else. Not only can you play for your Vita. I know not everybody has a Vita, so you can treat it like a Switch and walk around. But unlike the Switch, I can leave this PS4 on on my network, put it on standby, and anywhere I have an internet connection around the world, I could access my PS4 and play my game that I left inside. Or if I have any downloaded games within the system, because this is a disc, but why don't I have a disc? How about games that you downloaded there are in your system? You can access them through your Vita, and not only through your Vita, not only through your Vita. This is the surprise. If you have a P3 
PC. Mac or PC. Let me show you a little sign. One second. All right, guys. So you go to your Mac or PC. And I'm going to log in. And you go to the website. It's um, Google PS4 Remote Play. You get this link. And here you have the option to download it either for PC or for Mac. So this is a Mac. I'm going to download it for the Mac. Look, this is the way you install it on a Mac. Hit continue here. Hit continue. Agree. It's going to go to the Macintosh. Install. Password. That's just a Mac security thing. Boom, it's installed. But let's see, we're going to search for it in the system. Using the PS4 remote play. So as you can see, it's searching the internet. And I am on the internet right now. So let me just like, you know. Break this down like this. Alright guys, I'm back, I'm back in the machine. So I put the final number. Hit register. And it should be registering. Quick, boom, we registered. Guess what? We are connected to the PS4 from a Mac machine. So this is better than a Switch. You know what I'm saying? For your Mac, from your PC. So let's say you take your Mac or PC... To your business work, to vacation, to anywhere you want. You always take a PC, you always take a laptop or some kind of gadget, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have a Vita, you know what I'm saying? You, everybody has a PC or a Mac. So that works out just great. So and that's it. We are connected. Now you say, how am I going to control this, Jeff? So, you know, we could put full screen right here. You see the whole screen. This is your PS4 right now. This is your PS4 Live. So to play your game, you use your PS4. Now, how are you going to connect your PS4 controller to your Mac? Very easily. Everybody has a micro USB cable. So you take a micro USB cable, any kind of micro USB cable, and the other side will have USB, the Mac has USB, you connect the USB to the Mac, and voila. So it is not wireless, it could be wireless, you get the Bluetooth dongle for the PS4 controllers, we they sell them at up and Best Buy and different other outlets. But you wanna go cheap like me, yeah, yeah, typical one, two dollar micro USB. You probably got a bunch of them laying down in the house. And guess what? Look at this. And let's go back. Look at that. So we got a whole GUI of our PS4. So we're going to make it full screen. Now it transmit at 720p. Which is, you know, it's still HD, but it's the 720p HD. If you in the future get the PS4 Pro, that will transmit at a 1080p. So I had a little higher resolution, 1080p instead of 720p with the new PS4 Pro, which I may get when God of War comes out, but I haven't made the final decision. I mean, the PS4 works so great. I mean, I put it back downstairs in my 4K TV, and that's the reason that I wanted to get a PS4. But when I put the PS4 from my old Pioneer TV upstairs to my brand new 4K LG TV downstairs, it looks so much better, so much beautiful. I was like, wow, do I really need a... PS4 Pro for 4K, I may still get it because I like that new design of God of War and they say it's going to be very well enhanced for the PS4 Pro. So if that's the case, I'll do it. Anyway, back to the gaming. So I have my PS4 controller connected with a micro USB cable to the computer right here. So everything is nicely connected. So let's get a little into a little gameplay. So I see C. Sabathia pitching there now. So look, no lag. Basically, I'm gonna pitch right now. I'm gonna show you. So I hit pitch. Give the thing a little movement, pitch again, and there now he goes. The pitch. Boom. Fouled off. Fouled off. I mean, the gameplay is so smooth. It's basically hardly no lag. I recommend you connect your PS4 
to their Ethernet, not Wi-Fi, because the Wi-Fi on the regular PS4 is not that great. It's not like a dual band. It's a 2.4 band. It is a wireless N, and we're up to wireless A and C. So you might get away with it with the PS4 Pro, but not with the regular PS4. Even with the PS4 Pro, I recommend you connect it to the Ethernet because you get a solid connection with no loss frame rate. So, again, let me make another pitch. A little fastball inside. Sabathia ready with the 01. Look at that. He swings, hot shot, down the left seal line. Beautiful sound, no lag. I mean, this is basically, you know what? Per se, you're in your job. You want to sneak in a little gameplay, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Turn on your computer, put in the remote play app software log into your system bam, boom from anywhere you could do it from a pc you could do it from a mac and there's a software that allows you to do it which i'm gonna check in a few minutes and if it does work i will post it too on your mac ipad there's an ipad it looks like a book but it's actually a, an ipad pro as you can see and i'm a they don't make an official PS4 remote for it, but there's a third-party app that I'm going to see if I download it. I'm going to try it out. Now, I will not be able to use the original PS4 remote, but I do have a remote control for the iOS devices, so they say it may work. So I'm going to try that out, and that will be great if it does work. So we're back again here with the Mac, and I just downloaded the app. It's called RPlay for the iPads iOS devices or any other iOS device you want to have a iPad Pro here yeah? so very easy you install it you open it you hit play but if you're gonna run it for the first time you have to go through the process of just putting your user ID for your PlayStation Store and add a device where you go to the settings of your PS4 and you just put in the six digit code that it gives you it tells you exactly what to do it's very simple you go to settings you go then um, scroll down to remote play and when you click on remote play you're gonna go scroll down to add devices and once you click on add device it's gonna give you like a six digit code which you will put in the app like same thing with the pc same thing with the mac you gotta do the remote play um digits re registration code as it is but that's only for the, you know for the first time you use it once you install it boom you open your app hit play and it should work now unfortunately you cannot use your ps3 remote like i did with the pc on a ipad so lucky for me i had an ios remote which i use for gaming and for my drones because i want to use my drone I, you know i fly drones dji drones i got the little tello so i ended up getting an ios device controller which works perfect with the game and with this app so let me show you you can get this you know for 40 bucks at amazon this have a cheaper 30 dollar version ios easy to get it looks almost like an xbox 360 remote but it's uh connects through the bluetooth of your ipad so without further ado let's hit play it's connecting boom there goes the game baby there goes the game there you go and with the remote see this go up hit play so this is like the A. See, basically the only thing with this remote is not a PlayStation 3. So you have to remember this is X, this is zero, this is the, the, uh, the rectangle, and this is the square. But you know what I'm saying? You've been playing PS4 for so long, you already know the buttons. So you hit play, you hit X, which is this one. Let's play a game. So let's do the daily roster. And I'm going to play as... The Yankees playing Houston. Nice game. That's a good game right there. Play at Minimate Park. Hybrid. Start. And hit options to advance. So let's hit it. Hit options. So anytime. See this remote doesn't have options. So I have to hit this right here. So options could come out through here. And I can just hit options. And I can start the game. But that's it. It's remote play out of your house. PS4. Play it on your iPad, on your iPhone, on your whatever iOS device you have that this app accepts. You could play your games remotely. I mean, this is great. This is awesome. I mean, now you got... 
PC, you got the Mac, you got the PS Vita if you have a Vita, and now you have the uh, iPad. And a lot of people use the iPads to travel, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like to have computers. They do everything with the iPad. If you do like, you know, some light office work, Word, Excel, whatnot, you know, just, you know, YouTube and Netflix, people just take the iPads and they're like, that's like their main um, away from home computer. So, I'm playing a little Yankee game here against, uh, what, the Houston Astros, so I'm just going to bat up a few uh, bats so you guys can see the gameplay, how it works, how solid it is. So, I don't know, I mean, I got to put this like this, so he's going to pitch to me. Oh, took a swing, I missed. Beautiful response, it's almost instantaneously, it almost works as the, like having the regular PS3. Sorry, the PS4 controller. So it's almost instant. It works great. The colors look great. And actually, this 720p, and look how great it looks on the iPad. Missed again. I suck. <laughs> but it just, you know, this guy's going to see just one at bat. That's it. Again, can't beat this. I mean, I'm loving it. I mean, you know, this you go on vacation, man. Go to Florida. Connect to your PS4 remotely. And voila. You're playing, baby. So again, hit re hit the middle. This comes out. Go back into your screen. I mean, this guys is awesome. I mean, the fact that you can play not only on your PC, on your Mac computer, and now on your iPad with the third-party app, which works perfectly. Can't beat this, man. I, you know, I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm ecstatic. You know, I can't tell you what else. You know, I don't know what else to tell you. Um. One of the great things about this, I got 2K18, and I could play it. I could play my 2K18, my, my, you know, so I'm more into sports games for, for the PS4. But um, I could play all those games remotely. I don't need. And the thing is that, you know, even though the Nintendo Switch has that, it doesn't have a lot of these great games with the PS4. I mean, the library of the Switch is very limited. So all these great, game, you know, great games are available for the PS4. I mean, I could play them remotely. Any place, any place around the world. So, again, your boy Jeff, you know, I'll talk to you guys the next time. Peace out.